All right, here's a check on sports uh, this morning on the Breakfast Club on Robin Hood Radio. <clears throat> we have to start off at the we have to start off at the Yankees in Major League Baseball. There's some incredible things going on in Major League Baseball this year, and one of them happens to be the fact that the uh, New York Mets and the New York Yankees are leading their division. Uh, also, uh, there's just a million other great stories. Uh, no knows. Uh, uh, Close to no nose, uh, no hitters and stuff like that. But how about this? The New York Yankees, as of this morning, are 30 games over 500. 30 games over 500. And it didn't take long last night for the Yankees to get going on another win against Tampa Bay. He's the Yankee center fielder. That's any way you cut it. He's their center fielder. The 3-2. Driven out to right center field. Will go back on the track at the wall. See ya. Home run, Aaron Judge. His 25th, and it's a 1-0 Yankee lead. Just an MVP caliber at bat right there against one of the toughest pitchers in the American League this year. Uh, yeah, that's not a bad way to start it off. Uh, and then, of course, uh, uh, their catcher, uh, th- th- thank goodness they got rid of the tub of lard that was there before, uh, came in with his, uh, with his bat uh, later on, which really sealed the deal for the Yankees. Uh, I, you know, I can't pronounce his last name. It's terrible. I should be able to do that, but I can't. Um, but he had a, a three-run home run, which eventually was the uh, the winning uh, the winning numbers as uh, the Yanks defeated uh, Tampa Bay four to three. If I can ever cue this up and get it to play right, <laughs> one nothing Yankees. They have two hits. The Rays have one. We're in the bottom of the fifth. High fly ball, deep left field, fair ball. It's gone. It is. A three-run home run for Kyle Higashioka. They wanted to pitch to him, and he made him pay. Four nothing Yanks. Amazing. So the Yankees have improved to 30 games over 500. They're 46 and 16. Now remember, <clears throat> the Yankees started this run when their record was seven and five. Seven and five. So that means since that point, they're 39 and 11. 39 and 11. Basically winning four out of every five games. Amazing. 13 straight wins at home. They haven't uh, done something like that since 1973. Amazing. And like I said, it's not the only amazing thing in Major League Baseball this year, uh, as I said, um, the uh, <coughs> the uh, the Mets are in first place in their division. Um, we have incredible plays going on. Another no hitter was foiled in the ninth inning. I think that's the third in four nights. It's just uh, amazing. That's you know, baseball has gotten really exciting once again. And when you look at if the season ended today, what the playoffs would be, uh, the Yankees would win their division. Minnesota would be winning their division. Houston would be winning their division. The Mets would be winning their division. St. Louis would be winning their division, and the Dodgers would win their division. And as far as the wild club wild card, uh, Toronto and Tampa Bay would be the ones that are in the wild card. Uh, and uh, that's just what well, was. Anyways, what a season uh, for Major League Baseball! Um, just absolutely. A lot going on. All right, uh, taking a look 
at the National Hockey League yesterday in the National Hockey League, the finals. Colorado over Tampa Bay by a score of 4-3. to three. They lead that best of seven series one game to none. One game to none. Uh, the Mets got bombed by the Brewers last night, 10-2. to two. That doesn't often happen. That doesn't often happen. And the Mets, you know, and by the way, the Mets are doing what they're doing without their two top pitchers. Without their two top pitchers. They're doing what they're doing. Pretty amazing. Uh, other action, the Red Sox, they keep winning. They downed the Athletics 10-1. to one. Red Sox, I think, uh, have won like 10 in a row or 10 out of 11. And they've actually lost a game to the Yankees. But the Red Sox are now playing good. So uh, we'll see what happens. I wouldn't be surprised if the Red Sox make it to the wild card round. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised at all. They've really uh, come into form after a very, very shaky start. Well, that is a check on sports this morning here on The Breakfast Club on Robin Hood Radio.